Only one United States president was born in the state of New Jersey, and it was in this house in Caldwell. I'm Sharon Farrell, caretaker of the Old Vance of the Caldwell Presbyterian Church, also known as the Grover Cleveland Birthplace State Historic Site. Constructed in 1832, this house served as a home for the pastors of the local First Presbyterian Church. The second family to reside here was that of the Reverend Richard Folly Cleveland and his wife, Mrs. Ann Neal Cleveland, and their growing family. Ann bore nine children, and three of those births were here in the birth room. On March 18, 1837, Stephen Grover Cleveland was born and would bring celebrity to this house and a president to the White House. Cleveland's rise in politics can be credited to his scholarly upbringing, his honesty, and his seemingly unlimited energy. From his humble start as an 18-year-old law clerk in Buffalo, to becoming governor of the state of New York in 1883, and to his two elections to U.S. President, 1884 and 1892, Time and again, it was his confrontations with corrupt leaders and their abuse of public funds that defined him. He was a Democrat, but would endear himself to independent Republicans while distancing himself from corrupt Democrats with quotes such as, a Democratic thief is as bad as a Republican thief. At the age of 60, Cleveland retired to Princeton. He was active as a trustee of the university and would later be buried in the Princeton Cemetery. He passed away at his Princeton home on June 24, 1908. His dying words were, I have tried so hard to do right. The Grover Cleveland Birthplace Memorial Association purchased the manse from the church and officially opened it as a museum to the public on Cleveland's birthday, March 18, 1913. Today, the State Park Service and the GCBMA work together to present the site to the public.